Well, well, well. So it looks like Shitstain has crawled out of his hole once again by making a return video on his now resurrected channel. So y'all know what that means. It's Chronicles of the DD214 time. And we are officially on day 102 without any evidence provided by Blackie that proves he was in the Air Force like he claims. Of course, he left a comment on my Karma Finally Catches Up to Blackie Lebowski video about a week ago, which I didn't see till recently because, well, life. So I left a reply to it asking the very obvious thing. Where, oh where, is that DD-214? As of this video, there has been no reply. He then left a couple of comments on Beastly Gamer's The Blackie Lebowski Channel Has Died video. One of them really stood out to me, which I'm going to go ahead and dissect right now. Yes, and I go by Blackie Lebowski in real life, and I swear every two or three words. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if you did with the way you talk about wanting to find people in the real and cave their skulls in. You don't get to pull that, this is not how I am in real life crap, when you've made pretty blatant physical threats towards others in the real online. On top of calling another dude's job in the real over a Kinect video on the damn internet. YouTube will ruin your life if you let it. Get out and enjoy what's out there. And yet you're back on here, like clockwork, just like I and many others said would happen. I knew I had enough when I realized I knew more people online than in the real world. Now it's the opposite. Number one, and yet again, you're back on here just as I and many others predicted. Number two, I wouldn't believe a word you say or type if your tongue was notarized and your keyboard was anointed and gifted by the almighty deity of the cosmos. You being back on here after less than four months kind of proves that. And number three, even if you knowing more people in the real than online is true, who the fuck cares? None of it is relevant to the big thing you have yet to answer for. That DD-214 decided to log back on to see what had been said about me. Literally in tears. Best laughs in a while. Oh, I'm sure you did come back on here to see all the shit that has been said about you. Probably so you could add more people to that hit list of yours. And again, you laugh this shit off, yet you don't do the one thing that can actually humble and destroy some of us. And that's show that DD-214 like we've been asking and proving us wrong. I mean, if somebody was on trial for murder and they had concrete, airtight, irrefutable evidence that proves their innocence, are they just going to laugh and call the prosecution, the judge, and the jury a bunch of faggot-ass weirdos? I mean, you tell me. You're the one that's supposedly going to law school after all. If you were the defense attorney for this accused person, would that be your strategy? To shrug it off and hope it goes away? Sorry, Blackie, this ain't going away. There's literally one way out of the predicament you're in, and that's to show evidence that you served. This is the real kicker. My life has moved on in a positive, meaningful direction, and you grown men are rambling about some guy who made YouTube videos about PlayStation. So, that implies that your life wasn't in a positive, meaningful direction before when you were on here? So then all those videos you made where you were bragging about how much better your life was compared to others on YouTube was a lie? Thought so. Glad we cleared that up. And I give not a single rat's ass regarding your thoughts about the PlayStation or any of this console war bullshit. No, I have much bigger issues with you, like your blatant mental instability, which your history speaks for itself on that matter, and most importantly, lying about being in the military, considering I actually was in the military, and I even showed my credentials proving this, something you have yet to do. Which, without a fact, is the inferior product out of the big three. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<coughs> oh God. <laughs> and that right there says it all, folks. With that Freudian slip, he just exposed himself and the rest of his fuck buddies in the Xbox fanboy community. They all don't need none of those pesky facts to back up what they're saying, because they use the iron-fisted might of their opinions. <laughs> Seriously, though, Blackie, I'm pretty sure you meant to write doubt rather than fact. This is not the first time I've caught you accidentally saying the wrong shit. This is what happens when you're obviously heated and your fingers are going 200 miles an hour in order to express your obvious anger about what's being said about you. Time wasted is the real factor you should consider, dude. And for the third time, if time wasted is a point of contention for you, what are you doing back here? Why don't you continue to enjoy that supposed positive real world shit you've been doing for the last few months? I mean, you didn't just come back on here to see what was being said about you, and you didn't just reply to them with comments of your own, you even made a return video for fuck's sakes. That sounds like quite a bit of wasted time to me. You know what I think's going on? And this could just be a mere theory, and I could very well be wrong on this. But I think you've been lurking here the whole time, especially watching to see if I would continue to press the DD-214 issue. Since you saw that I had seemingly moved on due to you not being on here, you thought that it had blown over and that I wouldn't continue to hound you to show proof of your military service. Well, guess what, Blackie? That ain't the case. Like I said, I'm not going to stop until you're either gone for good or you produce the proper documentation that proves your claims of being an armed forces veteran. I'm not even going to bother reading that last sentence of your bullshit post. Because like I said, I give not a single solitary fraction of a percentage of an atom of a fuck about console war bullshit when it comes to you. I'll tell you what, Blackie. One of your fellow Xbox fanboy stooges gave me an idea. You see, like you claim, I also have been experiencing a renaissance in my personal life to where I actually have money to play around with rather than basically living paycheck to paycheck. So here's what I'll do. If you show your DD-214 on camera like I asked in my very first Chronicles of the DD-214 video, which I'll link to in the description so you can get an idea of how to do this, that $100 your fellow Xbox cum dumpster wanted me to give him to find out why you left the internet, like I gave a fuck anyways, because he was probably going to feed me some bullshit told to him by you, which like I said before, I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth or what you type on here. Anyways, I'll give that hundred bucks to you. I am basically offering you free near effortless money. I mean, you were in the Air Force, right? So that means you have a DD-214 that proves this, right? Then dig it out. Put that shit on your channel in a video and make some easy ass money. The money exchange can happen however you like, whether it be a mailed check or money order, direct deposit, or even PayPal. And that free money is on top of me making a video admitting defeat. So what do you say, Lebowski? Show that DD-214 and not only destroy me and several of your detractors, but also make some free money, or continue to dance around and come up with some bullshit reasoning as to why you won't show it, make me one of your stupid ass pirates of the week, and do everything else you can to not show it and prove to everybody just how big of a fraud you are. I'm giving you one week to make up your mind, Lebowski. Either what's left of your credibility lives, or it definitively dies. Meaning you would have no choice but to fade away and classify yourself as obsolete. Make your choice. The Great Exposer has spoken.